What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Giant Blade. Um, but today I'm not coming to you as a music artist. I'm coming to you as a regular fucking person. And this is something that I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while now. Like, and I mean, I've been wanting to get this off my chest for for so long, but never really did. And this is like, this is a reason as to why I'm fucking single on top of the other issues as to why I'm single. And this is something that's been going on lately a lot. Now, if you guys don't know what in the fuck's going on, is there was a girl I actually wound up blocking, and this is this happens to me all the fucking time, and I'm getting fucking tired of it, which is the fact of, you know, I sit there and I talk to a girl, get to know her, and genuinely she asks me, you know, what I do for work, like what do I do for a job, or like what's my career. And I kid you not, the minute that I fucking tell her what my job is, the whole relationship thingy stops becoming about getting to know me and starts becoming about the money. And I'm getting fucking tired of being used just for money. Bitch, I'm not a fucking ATM machine. I'm a real person with real fucking feelings. Like, just because I do music doesn't mean I'm fucking rich. Like, just because I do music, that don't mean I got fucking money. Yeah, I'm making a pretty decent living. Like, not the most decent, but fairly decent. Like, I get paid every six months. Every six months... For those that actually buy my albums through Google Play or Amazon, on top of however much I move streams, which I need ten dollars to be able to withdraw that. And I'm honestly getting fucking tired of it. Like, if you guys want to know, it's legitimately just random chicks. Just random ones. And I'm getting fucking tired of it. Like, I'm sick to death and tired of every chick I get with that asks me about my job or my career or what I do. And as soon as I tell them, I'm getting sick and tired of them always trying to, you know, and you can tell when they're doing it. They're like, like they become distant almost from the relationship and they start becoming about the money. Bitch, there's more to a relationship than just money. Yeah, it's hard for me, hard enough for me to find somebody as is. You know, smoke, drink, or do any stupid shit, and I don't go out and party. That's hard enough. But when I do find that one person that actually does want to give me a chance, and I find out that they're just another leech trying to be about the money, what the fuck is your problem? And y'all single, this is exactly why. Because I don't live the fucking party life. I stay smart. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do any kind of fucking drug. And then when these chicks try to use me for fucking money, it's like that makes it a hundred times worse. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm sick of these fucking chicks, you know, hitting me up, wanting to guilt me, and then being about the fucking money. Sorry, bitch, I'm not your personal fucking ATM machine. You ain't just gonna fucking use me like that. And then when I tell them that I don't make much money, they up and run. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I thought you wanted to get to know me. But instead, you're about the money? Like, really? You're really gonna be that fucking basic. Like, seriously. Like, there's more to roll into being, there's just way more to being in a relationship than it just the money. 
Like when you're with someone, you need to be with them because you love them and care about them. Not because of the fucking cash or the money or whatever they fucking got. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't smoke. I'm sorry I don't drink or do fucking drugs or go out and party. I'm sorry I'd rather stay home and bust my ass on my career instead of getting fucking wasted at a goddamn club or a bar and possibly get into an accident and kill myself. All right. I watched smoking cigarettes take my older brother's life. He died in 2016 from lung cancer, from smoking for 30 plus fucking years. I lost my relationship with my dad due to drinking drugs and him wanting to do pot and do all that instead of having a relationship with me. And former bandmate Brian Hildebrand a few months ago to a drug overdose because he'd rather do drugs than have a friendship. That's why I stay away from that shit because I've seen firsthand what it does. And I refuse to be a shit. I've been clean my entire fucking life. For all 27 years, going on 28 years that I've been alive, I've been clean. I've never smoked, drank, I've never touched any kind of fucking drugs. And what I don't get is, why is it so hard for you young cats out there? Like, why is it so fucking difficult to do that? Why is it so difficult for you to fucking stay clean? Just because everybody else is doing it, that means you got to do it? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Y'all need to stop fucking following these people that are doing this shit and start following my example. You know, start doing something with your life. Stop wasting your money and your fucking time and effort on bullshit like partying. Because all partying and drinking and smoking and doing drugs is going to do is end you up six feet under eventually. I know y'all might not, y'all might not think it's true, but believe me, it is true. I've witnessed that shit firsthand so many times. And I have my fucking bandmates from my high school band are either in jail or buried six feet under. From doing drugs. And my dad. He's on his way to death. Like there's no tomorrow. Because he'd rather fucking drink and smoke his life away. And everybody wonders why I'm so fucking pissed off and why I'm so angry. A lot of the times. Mm. Sorry, guys. I just got on like a stuff in here. It just. But like, there's a reason why I'm pissed off a lot of the times. It's because all these fucking chicks that are out there these days, they think it's fun to live the party life. Uh, newsflash, that party life is going to get you killed. You thought gangs and drugs were going to kill you? The party life will kill you even faster. Because the partying is what leads up to the drugs, what leads up to drinking and the smoking, whatever you guys fucking smoke these days. I don't even fucking know. And then, like, and don't get me wrong, I have nothing against those who smoke weed. I have nothing against that whatsoever. If y'all hear that, that's just my dog coughing up a hairball. Sorry you guys had to hear that. That's my dog. He does that all the time. 
But like, you know, and that's why I'm single a lot of the times. Because every chick that I fucking want to get with, that I try to get with, either fucking wants to use me for money or is just all about the fucking party life. They're all about doing drugs and doing what everybody else is doing, and I'm fucking tired of it. You know, I'm about to be 28 here next Thursday. Honestly, I should be settling down and having a family right about now. And honestly, I'd love to have kids. I really would. But yet, I'm always getting cheated on, lied to, used, mentally and verbally abused. And just all around treated like shit. And y'all wonder why I'm so fucking pissed off all of them. It's not that I'm not happy for everyone that is together. But put yourself in my position. When you see all these perfect couples that are actually, you know, happy together. Like they're actually happy. And then you see them and you're like, you know, you want that so bad. Like you want that one person that you can be with. Like, you want that so bad. But yet, you can't have that because every fucking chick you try to get with fucking uses you or verbally or mentally abuses you and just basically fucks with you and screws you over if possible. And y'all wonder why I'm so pissed. Well, not so much pissed on, but like, almost... I don't want to say depressed, but almost to that point. I guess you could say. And I, I'm honestly tired of it. I'm tired of being used. I'm tired of the bullshit. You know, like, and I ask this every fucking day. Like, what is wrong with wanting to be happy? Like, what's wrong with... Staying away from the party and drug lifestyle. What's wrong with that? If anything, y'all should be happy about that. And like I said, I'm sorry I don't do any of that, but you know what? I've got a fucking career to think about. Okay, music is my entire life. Art is my entire life. That's what I fucking do. That's my job. That's my. That's how I make my income. It might not be much of one, but you know what? At least it's nothing. You know, I'm sorry I'm not the ideal looking guy. But maybe if y'all would stop fucking looking on the goddamn surface and looking at my money... And start seeing me for who I actually am. Maybe then you'd actually see. When I'm with somebody. I'm loyal as fuck. Alright. When I'm with somebody. I am with them. And I will let it be known that I am with them. Because I know a lot of motherfuckers that try to pull some shady ass shit. And I ain't about that life. Okay, when I'm with somebody, I don't go around cheating on them. I don't go around using them. I don't sleep around. That ain't me. When I'm with somebody, I'm faithful and loyal as fuck. Yeah. Did you let Yeah. Anyways, y'all, peace.